Hello everyone, welcome to video 4 of chapter 7. In this video, we start chapter 7.2, the transportation problem. So let's give the statement. The problem description is the following. So we are going to ship goods from origin to destination. The origins are OI, and the I is labeled from 1 to M, and destination DJ, and J is labeled from 1 to N. And similar to the um, distribution problem, AI is now an amount of goods to be shipped from the origin OI, and the BJ will be the amount of goods to be shipped to the destination DJ. Okay? But then different from the um, distribution problem, we now have a cost for the shipping. So CIJ would be the cost to ship one unit amount from OI to DJ. So this is the new constant. So here we are in the situation that everything in the origin will all have to be eventually shipped to the destination. That is, if I sum up all the AIs, the total amount uh, of uh, supply, and uh, if I sum up all the BJs, the total amount of demand, they must exactly equal to each other. Otherwise, the problem is not feasible. Okay, so we define the variables x, i, j as before, the amount to be shipped from o, i to d, j. Now we can formulate a mathematical problem. So this now becomes a, a optimization problem. We can compute the summation of c, i, j times x, i, j summing over all i's and all j's, a double summation, this becomes the total cost. So the goal is now to minimize this total cost. We call this problem T, T for transportation. Okay, so minimize your total cost subject to all the constraints that the problem are imposing. So the constraints are the following. So first, um, if I sum over j for a fixed i, this will give me the amount that's being shipped from oi, and that must exactly equal to what is there at oi, so the ai, okay? And if I sum over oi for a fixed j, this will be the total amount being shipped to dj, and that must equal exactly to bj. So these are two in equation sign of constraints. So I will have m plus n total number of constraints. And then all the variables are restricted. Okay, so this for m and n large, this can be a huge system of constraints. Okay, so um, we will introduce and explain a method called the primal dual method and um, we'll explain the method and probably not going through the proofs. And the main idea of this method is instead of solving the problem as it is, we use the duality theorem and we consider the dual problem. And then for the dual problem, we will try to find feasible solutions. And there are many details involved there. So one thing to um, put up as a remark is that um, in the above, when we are solving the dual problem, we are only trying to find feasible solutions, okay? We are not putting it in a canonical form. We are not finding basic feasible solutions. So this is different from the standard LP problem. Um, and it's different from the simplex method. Okay, and then the dual of the transportation problem now would have uh, m plus n 
unrestricted variables because these are the constraints in problem T with equal sign. And then it will have m times m inequalities with less than equal sign because these are how many terms were in the objective function of t. Okay, so as you see, when m and n are large, these are large numbers. Okay, let's define the variables. And we define ui, for i from 1 to m, it corresponds to the first m constraints. And we define vj, for j from 1 to n, corresponds to the m last constraints in the problem t. Okay, so let's write out the dual D now becomes a maximization problem. I would maximize um, AI times UI summing over I and then BJ times VJ summing over J. This is the amount I try to maximize and subject to the following. I'll have UI plus VJ will be less than CIJ. And uh, here i goes through 1 to m, j goes through 1 to n. So if you write out here, there are totally m times n number of equations here. And the ui and vjs are unrestricted. Okay, let's take an example. Consider the following transportation problem with the uh, the table below given, what's inside the table are the cost CIJ. So I have two origins and three destinations, and these are the cost to ship from one origin to a specific destination. Say this one will be the cost of shipping from O2 to D3. Okay, And then here is the supply. Origin 1 has 30, origin 2 has 50. And down here, that's the demand. So D1 demands 20, D2 25, and D3 35. So um, before we start, let's check if uh, the total demand equal total supply. So let's check. So 30 plus 50 is 80. And then the total demand is 20 plus 25 plus 30. And that's also 80. So they match. So this passed the checking. Okay, so the transportation problem is now the following. I want to minimize the total cost. The total cost is the summation of the Cij times the Xij and sum this all up. So that becomes 3x11, 5x12, 7x13, the first row, and then 4x21, 7x22, 11x23, the sum of the second row. Sum this up subject to the following. So the constraints are the constraints for the supplies. There are two of them. So if you add up all the x um, with the i equal 1 and j going through, that shall be 30, what's shipped out of 01. And then here, um, summing up all these x's here, so x2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3 will be what you ship out of 02. That have to be 50. So origin constraint, and then the destination demand constraint, there are three of them for D1, D2, and D3 in the same way. So these are equal sign, okay? And all the variables are restricted now for the transportation problem. Okay, so as we mentioned earlier, for the primal dual method, we would actually solve the dual. So we need to form the prop, the dual problem. Okay. So, okay. So um, we will write as follows. We'll represent the data in this tabular form, and here inside are the costs C I J, and these are the A I's, and these are the B J's, and then and each of these represent a constraint, and we wrote the corresponding variable in each. So U one is for this constraint. U two for this constraint and v1, v2, v3 are for the constraint from d1, d2, d3. Okay, so this will be a standard way we'll record the information. Okay, so let's form the dual. So the dual is to maximize um and these times 
this vector, so 30u1, 50u2. And then this v vector, dot this vector, so 20v1, 25v2, 35v3. Add them all up. I want to maximize that, subject to the constraint. Then the constraint is, remember, is ui plus vj less than cij. So for each of these number, I get a constraint, right? So let's go through each. This one is position 1, 1, so it's u1 plus v1 less than 3. And this one would be u1 plus v2 less than 5. And this gives me u1 plus v3 less than 7. And then the second row is similar. Okay? And then these are less than equal sign. And then um, the variables, these ui and vjs, now are actually unrestricted. They can be negative. Okay, so this is the dual problem, and uh, um, next video we will um, introduce a way of solving it um, and uh, um, going through this example. Okay, so um, stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this. I see you next time.